Away from that, Deputy Director General of the Ghana National Petroleum Corporation, Dr. Poku Dankwa, says that GNPC will continue to share needed data with the Ghana Maritime Authority as a means of securing a sustainable maritime space. Speaking at the 100th celebration of World Hydrography Day, Dr. Dankwa noted this contribution will go a long way in assisting the authority to secure and sustain a well-developed maritime space as a means of curtailing unwanted maritime traffic, which impedes effective maritime trade. Government's energy policy goal is to sustainably develop and manage Ghana's oil and gas resources in a transparent and environmentally responsible manner for the benefit of every Ghanaian now and in the future. GMPC and our partners have most of our activities within the exclusive economic zone, marine environment. With three producing fields and an, an additional one, which is up and coming, development all offshore, the role of the marine environment, and for that matter, hydrography in the Ghanaian economy cannot be overemphasized. We recognize the need to have a secure and sustainable well-developed maritime space in which our assets such as FPSOs, pipelines, wells are all well mapped out and secure from unwanted marine traffic and other activities. GMPC believes in the work and the activities of the National Hydrographic and Oceanographic Committee. Hence, contributes to it by providing marine and engineering expertise. GMPC we do this by sharing derived bathymetry data with the working committee. GMPC's data coverage over Ghana's maritime space is quite vast and it's always growing. Meanwhile, Deputy Director General of Finance and Administration at the Ghana Maritime Authority, Yao Akosa Entry, wants Ghana to invest more in surveying of the country's sea floor. He explains adequate data on the top topography of Ghana sea waters will facilitate construction of ports and landing sites, protect maritime environment and ensure safety of navigation. Seas and the oceans represent a vast resource for food, minerals, resources, energy, water, biomedicines and infrastructure, which in turn creates wealth for individuals and nations. Each of these important and growing marine sectors also contributes to the creation of jobs. It is believed that an, a healthy ocean contributes about $1.5 trillion to the global economy annually and has an estimated net asset value of $24 trillion. However, without good maps and charts of the seas these benefits will be difficult to realize. Every human activity conducted in, on, or under the seas depends on knowing the topography of the sea floor and the insight into the tides and currents of the seas. Despite this, many parts of the world, seas, oceans, and coastal waters remain unsurveyed. This has a major impact on the effective management, sustainable exploitation, and well-informed policing of the seas and the oceans.